Welcome everyone. Um, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of our Amherst community members and we thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Brianna Sunrin. I'm the communications manager for the town and we have Fire Chief Nelson here with us today. <laughs> And excuse me for that. And um, Amherst Town because Manager. We can see your typing. <laughs> yes. I'm multitasking, folks. So um, I just want to remind everybody that this is being recorded. So please refrain from asking any personally identifying health questions today. In this webinar, to ask a question from the Zoom application, click the Q&A button. Um, to type in your question. It will only be visible to us as the hosts. Additionally, if you'd like to join the conversation and speak, please use the Zoom raise hand button or press star nine if you're joining us from a telephone and we'll pull you into the room. We ask that you introduce yourself before speaking um, and to maintain a civil discourse. So today joining us, we have Amherst Fire Chief and Emergency Management Director, Tim Nelson. Welcome to you both. Hey. Before we launch into q and I'm just going to give the town manager a chance to give any status updates he might have. Great. Thanks, Brianna. So I'm Paul Bachman, the town manager, and thank you for joining us today. Um, don't have a lot of updates because I know Tim has a lot to talk about, and he talks a lot about everything he talks about. So. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we and appreciate you taking the time to join us. A uh, couple things that we do want to talk about is that we're waiting um, you know, a lot to talk about reopening town government and or town businesses. Um, we really try to align ourselves with the state and what the governor is talking about. Uh, we're waiting uh, for him to make some pronouncements. We th that might happen today, might happen tomorrow. Right now, the May 4th, which is next Monday, is the date that has, has been the, the target date. I, my assessment, my assumption is that that will be extended. Um, and so um, sort of that'll be something that'll be of keen interest to a lot of us uh, to know which, which way he's going so we can align our tasks with him, with the, what, the gov what the state government is doing. Also, you know, as the weather starts to get warm up, we're, we'll have a lot more people out there. This weekend should be pretty warm. We're monitoring all of our facilities, especially Puffer's Pond as we move forward. Right now, we haven't closed off the road. We are considering uh, limiting parking near Puffer's Pond. Puffer's Pond is closed to um, sort of sedentary activities. Uh, you can walk through, you can use the trails, you can go, you can do solitary fishing, things like that. Um, but as the weather starts to warm, we'll be adjusting our policies on outside recreation as, as, it, as, it, as we deem best for the town and for the public health. So with that, I think it's really going to be Tim's show. Oh, really? <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks. Well, good afternoon. Uh, I hope everyone's do, 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 doing well. That thing that you see out, out, out there is the sun. So <laughs> that, that, that strange yellow orb. So I just, a couple things to just start, start with, uh, you know, uh, I, I know, I know folks are curious if, if, if we had had any COVID, 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 COVID positive cases in the town. And yes, yes, we have, but nothing, not, nothing too serious, 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 serious. I think that's a testament to the fact that folks are take, take, taking this virus seriously, and that's and that's and, that, and that's a good good thing. It is so insidious that no, you know there are there there are going to be be folks that 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 they are going 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 to get 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 this in in spite spite of doing all that that that, that we can to stave 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 it off. But people people are doing the right thing. You know, uh, stay, stay staying home while, while, while washing their their hands, so, so, social dis, distancing. I I, I see, see it all all over the place, uh, and we're we're wearing mask 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 when you're when, when you're going to be in in a close encounter encounter with, with people. That's though those simple things are really going to do a lot to protect you and everyone around 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 you i mean i, I can't say enough enough about, about about that and you know again and, and i mean our our concerns really right 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 now are 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 the uh, our most vulnerable populations that's that's going to be our, our elders for the most most parts and there's the nursing homes assisted living uh facilities that we have in town and i have have to say that they've all done a stellar stellar job at protecting their uh, their their res, 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 residents whether it be through uh hyper clean cleaning uh restrictions on um, access to 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 the build 
you know, building where we're wearing the proper, proper proper personal protective equipment across the board. They've done a, as I said, a stellar, stellar job at taking care of their people and taking care of each, each other. So, great, thank you for yeah. that update, Chief. Sure. Um, we've got a list of questions that have come in, and if you guys are ready, I, we can we can launch sure. in. Certainly. Mm -hmm. All right. So the, the first question is um, for Chief Nelson. How is your yeah. team holding up during this time, um, emotionally, <laughs> physically? Interesting. The interesting quest, quest question. We're we we are a reflection of society uh, 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 on, uh, as as a whole, and we're we're do, doing well. I mean, uh, one of the, one one of the interesting things is that we've become a young younger depart, part, part department, which means we have a lot of a lot of a lot of a lot of, a lot of our members have young 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 kids at at, at home, and like ev everyone else, uh, <laughs> they they've uh, they've gained. A newfound re re respect for te te teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. So, and they're go and the, and go, go go going through the same things that ev 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 everyone else is uh, trying to balance bal balance work, ch school, child, child care, and trying to work work, work that that out at home. And also the fa fact that we've all kind of been thrown off our sch sch schedules. Uh, we're not used used to being with our our loved loved ones as much as much as we are, so that takes a, a little a little bit bit of adapt, adapting to. I might say I've never 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 seen fire firefighters more excited about coming to work as I've seen it in the last <laughs> couple 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 months. But they're they're do, doing well, whole 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 holding up of, of well. We're doing a lot more in terms of. Checking in on on folks to make 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 sure that all our needs their well their their need 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 needs are met met and we're just kind of again keep 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 keeping a close 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 side and make sure that every, everyone's o o o okay and at the same time to let let folks know it's 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 okay not to be okay and we and we can fix 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 it we can address 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 that but again uh that we're do, do, doing well and again our fo focus is on say the taking care 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 of pub, pub, public and this is a, a a strange time a different time but they're they're fo 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 focus on what is important important which is take, 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 taking care of all of you all of us now that's an important message, I think, for everybody to hear. Um, I'm going to remind our attendees, if you want to ask a question, please use the Q&A button in the Zoom application, raise your hand in the Zoom application, or press star nine from the phone. So we've got another question here. Um, what's it like with UMass being closed? Do you notice a difference in your call volume at all? Oh, sure. Absolutely. I mean, which we which, what what's happened uh, happen is we've uh, there's probably 20 20 of the 20 of the 25,000 people people who are not there and and that and that is, as a you know, in itself uh, is is going to cause cause our call call ball ball to go to go to go down and 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 it has significantly and it's not you know folks like like say well you know you don't have those drunk student students around in the anymore but it's not just that it's, it's not real really that it's just a function of that many pe pe people here and people dri drive around they have car, car ag ag accidents they fall down they 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 get sick and that and that's where mo most of our calls from you 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 you, you must come from so you know without out that yes our our, our call calls all volume is uh, down significantly sure Someone wants to know what it is behind your head on behind your wall. That is a pro propeller and uh, there's a fo photo of an, of, of an F-15 F Eagle fighter jet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a pilot, a pilot. I've been a pilot for 30 some, some years. So my wife got, got, got me the uh, propeller, propeller for Christmas a few, few year, years back. And the photo is, uh, it's a good, good friend, friend of mine flying, flying, flying the uh, jet. And I was flying, fl flying the fo 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 photo plane. We were up, up in the white, white mountain, mountains doing, wow. a, do, do, we were doing a, that, that was in uh, Air Force Mag, Mag Magazine uh, a few, few years, years back. So I got, I got to fly, fly, fly the photo, fo fo photo ship. 
So, and he's a, a, a really good, good friend. So man of many talents. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, I do. Okay. I do. Okay. And I, and I got, have, I have to say, I also, he's, he's, he's such, such a good friend. He got, got, he got, he got me a flight in an F, an F, 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 F 15, a few, few years back. And I got to fly it. I actually got to fly, 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 fly the jet. So that's my claim to fame, I guess. That's what they told you. <laughs> trust, trust me. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. We it was good. We we got we got the dog, 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 dog fight, and we didn't lose a fight. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then the next question is yeah. how how do you think? Amherst is handling this situation compared to other communities in the Commonwealth or um, other communities in the area. I think we're, we're do, do, doing well, and part part of that is uh, we prepared early, early I mean, as early as, as you you could. Uh, we 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 first began to hear hear about, about this back in first part part of well the, the, latter, the latter part of Jan, Jan, January. And we just heard, you know, just that this this thing was coming and all 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 that, and just we we took steps from one one thing to or order uh, per, per personal protective protective equipment early, because as as we talked talked about, about about this, it just seemed like this is going to grow. It's going to get worse. So we said we we need to re reach out. Build, build, build up our stock just, just in case you know the re the rest of the world starts to do, 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 do the same, same thing. So that put put us in, in a good, good spot. Uh, we took uh, we took we took steps early, early to restrict ac access to our build, building. We did did that that early on. We uh, we 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 took a, um, a high, higher protective stance with our per, per, per personnel as they went out went out to to respond. Uh, we were wearing more for personal protective equipment, PPE. Uh, we, we did did that or, or, or early on. So, and one of the thing, things is, you know, what what we found found is people, you know, they may they may may they may they may be sick and they may may have been sick for a week week or so with flu flu type type symptoms. But if they if they broke broken an ankle, they're more concerned about that when they make make that that call. So to protect, protect our, our to protect, protect our, our, our folks, we started starting where we're wearing our PPE early on. I think compared to other other towns in, in the area, I think we're, we're do, 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 doing well. We haven't had anybody, any of, of our personnel come come up uh, positive for, for for this. We only had had the quarantine two people just as a precaution. And none, and none, and none, none of them were were, were positive. So, um, and I've and anecdotally, I hear you know throughout throughout our area, area other towns are, are have having some some issues issues with 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 that. Some of that is just just bad luck, you know. But for us, I think we 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 took an affirm, firm, firm, affirmative and a proactive step to protect all, 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 all our per, per personnel. So right now we're, we're do, doing well. And I would think we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to point to continue to do, do well at that. I noticed that, Tim, early on, you were sending your um, paramedics out in full protective gear. Like right. people call it hazmat suits, but they're really, <laughs> right, the, the right. word we've heard is PPE, right. personal protection equipment. Um, and I thought, wow, why are they doing it so early? But really, you had already thought about force protection, which is maintain our our crews have to stay healthy so they can serve the citizens yeah. of, and, and residents of Amherst. Right. And that um, if one person were to be catch, you know, have uh, catch uh, COVID-19, the whole crew would have to be out. And right. so losing, right. you know, having exposure was a really dangerous thing. And that's why right. I, was, I really admired your early decision to have people, you know, have the paramedics going out in full PPE. And I think it was a little off-putting to some of our citizens sure, to show sure. up because you have a hurt leg or something like that. Right, there, right. But they don't know. And you, right. when you walk into the house, you don't know. So I, right. I, that foresight was really important yeah. to hear. And, and, we, and we, we were quite, 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 quite questioned about, about that at first. And, and then, of course, it, it came, 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 came out that you, you, you can be a, a symptomatic but but still infected people. So we we wanted to make 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 sure that that in an abundance of caution, that we took those steps to protect to detect our our, our folks. As I I've said, 
for years, you know, in order for us to take care of the folks out, out there, we need to take care of ourselves. And, and, and if, if we protect, protect ourselves, it means we're good, better able, able to protect and take, take, take care of uh, the folks that we serve. Mm -hmm. So that, and as I said, you know, a, per, a per person may have been, been ill for a week, a week or so, but if they, you know, break, break, break an arm, break, break a leg, that's what they're going to be fo 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 focused on. They may not tell, 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 tell us when we arrive, oh, sure. I've had the flu for a week, or I've, I've had these symptoms for you, because they're more concerned about that particular thing. So, and that's, again, you know, yeah, it, it was, it, at first, I think, I think it was off the of, of footing, but in the, in, in, in the end, it means we're, we're going to be, be, be able to protect people. How is the town doing now with PPE? Do we have I, enough? Yeah, we're doing well. We're we're doing very 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 well. I got to got got, got to admit, you know, there, there's prep, prep, prep pressure a lot of a lot, a lot of pressure worldwide on all these vendors. But I but I believe that because we started started early, early, we got out ahead of the curve, and we and we've got got some great great vendors. So our our supply supply stream is good. Uh, and yeah, it, it has slowed, slowed, slowed down, down some, but because we began early, I mean, again, we got out ahead of the curve. So we have a, bu a, bu a buffer and, and our plan was to plan for the worst, to plan, 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 plan for an over, over, over overwhelming amount, amount of calls and tra tra transports and that type of thing. And we just began and we just pushed, pushed out as far, 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 as far, far as we could. And we're still do, 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 do doing that. The fact that the uh, state has come up, come up with a do, do, do distribution system that works well, that has helped, helped, helped us as well to fill in, in, in any gaps we may see in the future. So. It's, it's really interesting because it's like a military campaign where you have to lay out your supply lines and make sure you have your supplies and you started early so that when yeah. you put an order in now and they say it's back ordered for a month that we, that's you can handle that right you have right. A, i'm not sure several weeks worth of supply on hand if this right. if i mean the question we talk about every day when we meet mm -hmm. is if supplies were to be cut off today right how long would we last right. and you've got multiple weeks out there we we're right right now i mean we 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 in the in the in 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 inventory our supplies at least every five to six days and then project checked out and we project what what our rate of use is going 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 to be as well called the burn rate burn, right it's called it's called a burn rate so we so right right now uh we we've got uh approximately Four to, four to forty-five days worth worth of supplies. If our supply if our supply chain stopped right now, so again that goes back 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 to you know I've I've got 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 some great 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 folks who are working here who 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 could project project out and and we're for 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 forward think think thinking and said you know we need we need to do 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 this so that's so that's why we're in a good spot now. We have a question that just came in through our info email account from Rich. He's asking, um, even though case count of COVID is low in Amherst, mm -hmm. has the town considered requiring facial coverings or masks in downtown area where it's difficult to remain six feet away from each other? It's a great question. It's something that we talk a lot about. Um, it's really a call ultimately for the health director or Julie Fetterman, who is our health director. Um, you see some communities have required facial coverings, um, a cloth facial coverings specifically um, at all times. I think Somerville went for a mandatory, if you're outside, you need a facial cover covering. We have not done that. And I think the health director is weighing, is aligning our policy with the Centers for Disease Control and the Mass Department of Public Health, saying that it's recommended, it's advised, but it's not required. Um, it's the, the key piece in her mind, and I think in, in our mind, is that social distancing is the key public health safety measure. And if you can't achieve social distancing, then that's the time to have a cloth mask on or something. I mean, I have my, I think we all probably have, I have my, my cloth mask, you know, bah, bah, bah. we can put it on, oh, that must have been loud. Um, and uh, you've got yours. And uh, I think we're, we're actually starting a campaign with our community participation officers to um, have people create or make cloth masks, helps to distribute them to people who might not have access to cloth masks otherwise. 
but as in terms of the question, we don't require them at that, this point in time. It's something that we take into consideration and we'll continue to look at the science of the matter. And if it becomes something that um, where our, our health experts say, this is something we should be doing, we will certainly adjust that policy. Great, so thank you. Oh. One thing I, would, uh, I wanted to add, add quick, and as we were talk, talk, talking about the uh, su su supplies, you know, if things were to get uh, hectic, and we were in our activity level went 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 way way up specifically because because of the vibe by by egress. I, I wanted folks to know that we've got a pretty robust mutual aid plan in place for, throughout throughout the county. county. Uh, you may, you may have seen a few weeks weeks ago uh, the uh, city of Spring, Spring, Springfield, Ag, Ag, Guam, Long and Meadow, West, Westfield. They they came up with a, a mutual aid pact and so so on, so on, which is good. But we've been we've we've had 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 this pact in place for years just for some something like this. So and and so so uh, you know the plan is is all already 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 there. So so if one if one two or three uh, town, towns get have have uh, an inordinate an order amount amount of pressure put upon upon them, we have other towns that that can, that can come to come in and uh, support 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 them. And that's some, something that's been been in place for a very long time. I just wanted to make, make that that. Mm -hmm. okay. So I have a question that I, I guess would be for either of you, both of you. Mm -hmm. um, are there things that we can do as a community to help out? You know, well, I'll, 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 I'll say, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll say, you know what? Uh, one, one thing is keep doing what you're do, 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 do doing. Uh, it's get it's beginning to get night night nice out. Uh, you, you know some some of the news 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 out outlets are saying that the uh, trend trend is beginning to plat 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 plateau and that type of thing. Thing is, we can't get complacent. Complacent. We still need need to in still still need 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 to enforce this social social dis 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 Type, types of things to protect ourselves and protect every, everyone else. So I guess it's, you know, as I think Dr. 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 Fauci said, don't take your foot off the gas right now, so. Yeah, I, I think that we're all feeling a little sense of, um, I want this to be over already. I want to get back to normal. I want my kids to go back to school and all those things. Is, kids are not going to go back to school this, this year. But when the weather starts to turn and we get tired of all these, you know, the stay at home restrictions, I think that's really going to be hard for folks to, to sort of internalize. And we're just, you know, ready to get back to work and see each other again and socialize. Um, and I think I agree with Tim is that this is not the time to do that. You know, when you look at the numbers at the state, they say that we're plateauing. We hope that we are, but it's just at the very peak now. And we're, we want to see that go down for you know, multiple days in a row in terms of hospitalization so that we make sure that it truly is going down. Um, and so if we, if we sort of let up now, and I fear that it's too soon, and then we're gonna be, have another resurgence and we don't want that to happen. But I think that's the, um, that's the biggest fear. And again, the, the, the message has not changed from the very beginning, stay home, wash your hands. Those are the two things that people can do and limit your exposure to other people. And it's really hard to do, but I think people have been really phenomenal at making that happen so far and just really credit everybody um, in town and also in the whole state that have really worked hard to make that happen. You know, one, 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 one thing that I, that, that I ascribe, ascribe to is, is write the end of the story first. And then, and then you figure out how do I get there? And it, and then so so instead instead of think, thinking oh, I've got all these obstacles to get to get to get to get to the end, you you've already writ, writ, written the end and uh, the end of that, that story where we need 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 to be, and then you just figure out how you're going to get get there. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's that's I think that's kind of the kind of kind of way 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 to look look at this. Great, thank you both. So we are um, reaching the end of our time. Uh, before I have the closing remarks, do either of you have any um, parting wisdom or things that you want to share that you didn't get asked today? <laughs> wisdom. Wisdom time. 
What is it? Do I let the I let the Bob, Bob the boss go go first, or let's let the Bob, boss go? I think, go I last? think it's you, you you go you go, Tim. Okay. <laughs> uh, just go, a couple of things. Um, if if you're sick or ill or feel 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 feeling you know out of out, out of sorts, don't be afraid to call your your prime, prime, primary care. Don't be afraid to call the doc. One one of the things that we found is that folks seem to have this fear about going to a ho 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 hospital or going to see a do 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 doctor. So then, by the time they call call us, they're very very sick. So don't 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 wait on uh, on the see, seek, seeking help or getting getting or or, or, call, call, or calling your doc. You know that you know uh, the ho the hospitals have plan plans in place to take care of. You know things that are non COVID related. Related, they they can deal deal with deal with with that. The the last last thing I would say is is you know let's continue to continue to help help each other out. That's what a community community does. I mean, when things are at our when things are at their worst, we tend to be at our best. And it's it's really it's help each other out. Look look out for each other each other. We can. Uh, you could uh, do uh, in terms terms of grocery shops, 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 shopping. Uh, check 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 with with your, with your neighbors on what 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 they might might need. That's not just just a nice nice thing. That will cut down on another number of people that are out and about and uh, and uh, go 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 going to 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 the stores. And then you reduce your uh, the amount amount of uh, the amount of possible exposures. So that's so that's what I what I you guys say and and really just you know let's just take take care of each other. We'll we'll get get the through 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 this and we'll we'll be better for for it. And I just add you know it's you know Tim was a great athlete as a young person not <laughs> commenting now but um, hey 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 hey. <laughs> but um, it's we have a great team for the town so it just it's been a you know privilege to work with a, such a great team uh, and I think you know. Just this this group here that you're seeing today is, it really reflects that, um, but also that we have you know full force of uh, police, fire, paramedics, dispatchers on duty, 24 hours a day, ready to respond. If there are any issues that you need, we're there to respond to it. Uh, call 911, and we'll be there. And so that's all I have to add. Great. Great. So I just have some logistics here to share. Uh, we will be continuing to do this for the next couple of weeks, Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon. This Thursday, April 30th, we'll be with our health director, Julie Fetterman. And coming up on May 8th, we'll have another virtual cup of joe. Uh, Friday, May 8th from 8 to 9 with Paul and a couple of special guests that we'll um, have coming in and out of that session. So thank you both. Thank you, Chief, for your time. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank Thanks, you. Tim. <laughs> thank you. Have Appreciate a great it. day. Stay safe, right. everybody. Be good. Be good, guys. Peace. Bye.